Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you a neat little tool for creating bibliographies and works cited pages. It's called bibcitation.com. Let's take a look and see how it works. First of all, one of the things that's really great about it is there is a huge selection of styles to pick from when you're creating your works cited page or your bibliography. Let's just leave it at MLA 8 for our demonstration here. Now, on the left-hand side, the default options are book, journal article, or website. But if you go to show more, you'll see tons of other options in here. So let's go back to show less. I'm going to cite a book. And the book that I'm going to cite, I don't exactly remember the title of it, but I know my friend Lee Lefevre wrote it. So I'm going to just type in here, Lee Lefevre, and do a search. And there it is. There's the book I was looking for, The Art of Explanation, Making Your Ideas, Products, and Services Easier to Understand. So I'm going to go ahead and include that right in there in my citation. Now, Let's do another one. Let's do a website. And in this case, I'm going to fill in the URL for this article that I wrote. Yes, I'm going to cite myself. And I'll paste in that URL. So let's add that citation. But when I do that, it's going to ask me for some additional information to make sure that everything is correct. So in this case, web page author richard byrne yep that's right editor is the same all right so we can fill that in or we could leave it as is now date published look at that it tried to pull in the date and that was the correct date as i know by the url up here also if i scroll down on the page we'll see that as well publisher is again practical ed tech Dot com and the day that it was accessed is today October 12th at in the year 2020 <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and add that one in now again we could add even more if we wanted to but now that we've added in our citations let's go to copy and export and when I hit copy that's going to copy just the text, but I can also do save as doc, and that downloads it as an RTF file, a rich text file, okay. which I can then open in my text editor. In this case here, I'm going to use Word, but you could use uh, any other text editor. And I can also copy it as HTML or copy it as bib text. So that's Bib Citation. It's a quick, easy to use tool for creating bibliographies and works cited pages. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.